What's up guys? If you haven't heard by now because you live under a rock, after about a hundred years of prohibition in Canada, give or take, cannabis is legal, baby. Whoop whoop. And if you don't know what cannabis is, <laughs> then go back under your rock. Yeah. <laughs> no, Pass the duchy on the left hand side. Marijuana, <laughs> weed, pot, grass, reefer, ganja, loud, chronic, broccoli, dro, kush, hydro, trees, stress, cess. Are we missing any? Perp. What? Perp? Perp. Like perpetrator? Like purple. Oh, okay. We got the perp. The perp. Sense Amelia. Mary oh. Jane. Oh, Mary Jane's. Dabs. Shatter. Hash. I like hash. <laughs> Anyways, you get the point. It I comes with again. many names, but the scientific name is Cannabis Sativa. And we thought for those of you who are newbies and don't know a lot about cannabis and you've been, you know, you're not really sure about all the reefer madness Stand either. Standoffish, we get it, we understand. Maybe you need a little bit of a refresher if it's been a couple decades since you've dabbled in it. So we've got you, cause you know, we're here and we love you and we're family. And so we bring to you today, the can of pie, gin and jewels, cannabis, cannabis crash, crash course, course. 101, baby. Ooh, you added the baby. Class is in session. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. No, it's seriously just a plant. <laughs> they call it weed for a reason. It's yeah. a very resilient plant. The interesting thing about the cannabis plant is that the male plant produces pollen sacs that look like little balls. Mm. And as long as you keep the female away from the man and his balls... Stay away from those fuckboys. See? Even we sell you. Then she will produce beautiful flowers. That preach, girl, preach. That most of you know as buds or nugs. Those are actually the flowers on the female plant. Uh -huh. And that is where the good good is. Sticky icky. The sticky icky. The buds are covered in little teeny teeny microscopic mushroom shaped crystals called trichromes. And inside those trichromes is where the active chemical ingredients, THC and CBD, mm. can be found. Very interesting. They think there are hundreds or many, many other active compounds other than THC and CBD, yeah. but those are the most commonly studied, and so you're going to hear those words floating around a lot. What does THC stand for? THC is short for tetrahydrocannabinol. Wait, tetrahydra, tetra hydrocannabinol cannabinol tetrahydrocannabinol and cbd is short for cannabidiol okay so why don't you tell us about different strains okay so there are actually two different types of uh, cannabis sativas out there um one of them being the sativa plant and the other being the indica plant you can think of it like roses. They're the same species, but they come in different colors. They also have different properties. So uh, physically, the indica plants tend to be shorter and bushier, stockier plants, whereas the sativas tend to be taller and leaner and have their leaves spread out more. So you can actually visually identify them. And so they have different like physical effects and psychoactive effects on the human body as well, right? Exactly. There's obviously a big range between different strains which in, within each category. Okay. But generally speaking, 
indica plants have that deep body relaxing yeah. physical or, calm yeah they're mellow. exactly lethargic yeah and then there's the cannabis sativa which usually is more of an energizing strain those are the ones that you know maybe you would pull out at a party or struggling with things like anxiety mm -hmm. that you might be more um, or depression depression guided towards just because it's something that really helps you get out of your head you know it gives you energy like you want to move it's just very um different in a sense from the cannabis indica strains and you often hear someone say oh i don't like weed i tried it once and i was super paranoid and it was so awful lame <laughs> You have to realize that it's just like uh, any other fruits and vegetables. Some might not mix with you. Some might not agree with your stomach. You might not like it. You might not. You have to know what you're getting into because yeah. they're not all the same. Like gone are the days where you just got whatever your neighborhood Spider-Man gave you. Yeah. Now we have, we have options. We have all these resources too where you can really choose and pick the the side effects not yeah. the side effects but the benefits that the you're benefits. looking for yeah like benefits like we said anti-anxiety antidepressant appetite stimulant or the opposite if you want appetite to suppression appetite suppression so good um definitely a lot of like muscle relaxation which is wonderful anti-inflammatory anti-inflammatory 100 percent anti-inflammatory everybody's different it can also exacerbate a mental illness so mm. you have to talk to your doctor and you know it depends what it is that's um, fair some people do swear that it is a cure-all mm -hmm. and so it's that's the other end of the spectrum and that can also um get a little sticky also good for digestive issues, especially edibles, because you they go through your digestive tract, and then it can help with absorption. What a lot of people don't realize is that we have an endocannabinoid system hardwired into, into our, our bodies. bodies. So we were designed to coexist with this plant. It's really cool. Well, that was really nice. To coexist with this plant. Mm -hmm. That was a really nice way of saying that. I'll take it. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we have a tambourine? Can someone get us a tambourine over here? So a lot of people ask, what's the difference between hemp? and weed that's a really good question now i just thought that it was a different the plants were slightly different it's the same plants oh the only thing that makes hemp hemp is that it has a thc content lower than 0.4 percent oh. okay so it has such a negligible amount of thc yeah, that not it's not right. considered to be a drug Dangerous. Yes, so it's not considered to be a drug. It's just considered to be an agricultural plant that can be right. used for all kinds of stuff, like hemp hearts in your salad. It's so very good for protein. Very good for also essential fatty acids and antioxidant and all that other stuff that we discussed. So put it in your smoothie and on your salad. And they can build cars with it and build houses and make paper. Hemp and is the way of the future. So you can have hemp that's high in CBD, which doesn't have the psychoactive effects but you will still get the body buzzes and the other medicinal properties anti like the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant okay. and all of that other stuff without getting high and feeling any psychoactive effects right so good for mornings like work mornings mm -hmm. or when you're home with the kids or at the in-laws or somewhere. or children when children need to use cannabis for medicinal oh. reasons like epilepsy for example Definitely. they give them cbd oil because they don't have any psychoactive effects okay i've heard people give cbd to their pets i've heard that too so what gives the different strains their colors or their scents because sometimes you can pick up like a piece of bud and it will smell like grapefruit within those two main types sativa and indica right 
We've all heard of different strains, like a Kush or OG. Gorilla Glue. Some of those are Indicas, some of those are Sativas, yeah. some of those are hybrids, and it's like they took two and made a baby, literally. Okay. So you get a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and it's a good well, like balance. It's like you have a male plant of one pollinate a female plant of another. Oh. And then the offspring of that will be a hybrid of the two. So within all those strains, what makes them different? To answer your question, <laughs> terpenes. I'm asking you. Oh, terpenes. So terpenes, okay. let's call them the compounds within the essential oils ah, of okay. not just cannabis, of fruits and herbs and other Anything plants. Anything we can extract essential oils. That's what gives pine needles their smell right. and lemon and lavender. All of those are from terpenes. We'll do a separate follow-up video to expand on this, but the point is... So make sure you hit subscribe. The Thanks. point is, each of those terpenes has its own set of benefits and flavors, um. so it might give it a citrusy scent or a relaxing feeling. Right. So it's not enough to just know if it's indica or sativa, sativa. or THC or CBD, there are layers to this shit. Right, right. You gotta yeah. unpack all the layers to get the full picture of what it is. It's like Drake's emotions. Yeah. It's very deep. We need some OVO Kush or something like that in the mix. <laughs> it would be like $400 for a gram. I know. Oh. All right. So there's different ways that you can actually consume cannabis. So you could obviously smoke it. Let's not act like nobody knows what that is. So you can smoke cannabis. Um, you can hit the bong. You hit the you bong. A blunt. Or a one pay. It's my fave. Or an L. Good old L's. If you want to go and take a ride with me, smoke an L in the back of Is that what you were saying? <laughs> yeah, so you can hit the bong, roll a blunt, L pape, one pape. Highly recommend you vape instead of smoking. Smoking is fun and all, but you know, carcinogens and shit, so vaping is much better for your lungs. Mm -hmm. I it's don't hard know, to get just, into. There's something about the burning that is just so... That It's the habit. It's I so habitual. It's the ritual. For sure. You That's can also ritual. make edibles. Yeah, so you can ingest canvas. Yes. Right? You can make an infused butter or other base. Honeys. Honey, butter, so coconut oil, and then use that to bake or put it in your tea or just yeah. put it on a spoon. So there's lots of ways that you can um, ingest it. Right. And edibles affect you differently because you're digesting them and absorbing them. Through them your digestive Through tract. your digestive tract. tract <laughs> rather, than, <laughs> rather than through your respiratory system. Right. And be patient when you're ingesting it. Yeah. Like, just give it some time. Give it at least an hour least. before you say it's not working. And chill out. Like, don't sit there anticipating the high. Like, that is the worst thing you could do. Just do your thing. It'll your hit thing. you. It'll hit you when it's ready. Yeah. It's all good things and divine timing. Divine timing. 2019 mm -hmm. motto. Divine timing. There's a lot of talk buzz lately around concentrates. Okay, yeah. So this is some next level like types. So Sensual. no judgment though. A concentrate is where the THC or the CBD is extracted using a solvent. Oh, uh, okay. Something like butane. We're not even going to get into that. Yeah, Google one. it. Yo, Bill, <laughs> do a video on concentrates. We're yeah. waiting. Oh, topicals. Topicals, yeah. Now, you know, you can make some bombs, some lotions, salves. put it in your sunscreen, salves, anti-aging yeah. creams. So good. Just like every other organ, if you put it on your skin, it absorbs. Yeah, and we've got that whole hardwired system in us. Exactly. No, and you can make your own by infusing cannabis into coconut oil, yeah. for example. Anyways, Anyways, the point is... You will get high from eating um, edibles with THC and from smoking them and vaping them. You won't get high from topicals. No. If you have muscle pain or inflammation, rub some yeah. shit on that. It'll so help. Good. So where can you get cannabis currently in Canada? It depends on your province. Right. Here in Ontario, you have to, right now, you have to get it from the uh, Ontario Cannabis Store. And soon, with our stupid lottery, you'll be able to buy it in 25 select locations. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but that's another conversation. 
Um, and then some provinces they have provinces they have dispensaries opened up already. Some provinces have dispensaries open. Some provinces like Ontario, you can grow four plants at home. Nice. As long as your landlord permits it. Right. And your condo bylaws. And everything else that you have to check before you grow your little wheat. Plant. Exactly. Sorry. So <laughs> so like everything else, be careful, exercise caution, and do your homework. Perfect. Google it. Yeah, God damn Google it, we've got shit. Google. We can't do everything for you. Yeah, Come on, don't guys. listen to me. I'm half Jamaican. And if you have a medical prescription, then you have your own set of rules, and you already That's know true. that. So, yeah. you know. We don't have to go on about that. No. So there are still laws surrounding cannabis and cannabis consumption in Canada, even though it is legal. So you Yes. The Cannabis Act is the official uh, legislation for cannabis in Canada, and you need to know because they ain't playing out here. They are not playing, and even though it's legal, your ass can get in big trouble. So Huge. In fact, more trouble, actually, than when it was illegal. The law is you can possess up to 30 grams, which is just over an ounce. Right. But... You cannot drive under the influence of cannabis. Right. And they have a new new legislation that just came out that if you get pulled over, the police no longer need any probable reason. cause, any reason to request a blood test or breathalyzer, breathalyzer test. Yeah. And if you're found to have um, cannabis above the legal limit... You could be facing hefty fines or Jail even prison time. time, so be careful. Yeah. Also, as it pertains to minors. Oh, yeah. So, nobody under the age of 19 currently should not be getting their hands on cannabis. Mm -hmm. That is our legal age, 19, same as our drinking same age. Same as our drinking age, right. and if you're caught... Providing. providing to a minor there can be also huge tens of thousand dollars worth of fines or and... up to 14 years in prison right so there are studies that do show that minors under 18 that it can affect their cognitive development 100%. so we can't be ignorant to that right no. so so unless your doctor is prescribing it for a reason yeah there's no need to fuck up your future yeah, don't do it. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait till you're 19. Then smoke a joint. Have a beer. Come on. But house plants are a good thing. So if you're in a province that, you know, allows it, again, it's called weed for a reason. It's, yeah. you know. Resilient. It's a resilient plant. plant. It's not some scary alien, so. Or a batch of chemicals in, like, a bathtub. It's just the plant, people. Don't, don't lose your brains over listen, it. Listen, listen. It's not the end of the world. Don't there let are, them tell you this is a big deal. This is a distraction. There are much more dangerous house plants out there, like calla lilies. That are, and calla lilies? Poinsettias are fatally dangerous if you eat them. Poinsettias? The Christmas plant? The Christmas plant. Not that really? anyone's eating them, but if a kid got their hands on yeah, it, or I didn't your know dog, that. they're very, they're toxic but they're to so humans. Pretty. I know, but they're toxic. It's so. like me. I'm so pretty, but I'm toxic. So that was your crash course in Cannabis 101. Now we've got some stuff to go do. You guys have a good night. Have a good night. And don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, please. And ask questions. We'll do our best to uh, Google that shit for you. Yeah, since you can't figure it out for yourself. <laughs> Lame ass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Peace. Peace. I think that's good.